So, you want to model a ruby super easy. Well, you've come to the right place. You got some kind of gemstones, some kind of uh, marbles, diamonds, who knows what you're making. You're trying to make some Minecraft in real life. I, I, I got you, brother. I got you, brother and sister. Listen, hey guys, my methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at a super easy method. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete on default cube because we don't need him. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A, and we're going to search for a cone. Now this cone, if you go down to the bottom left, you're going to see it says add cone. What we're going to do is click that open and then change the amount of vertices to something a bit smaller. So maybe like 17, oh, maybe 17, hit enter. Now you can do something even smaller. I'm going to do maybe like 7. We'll do 7. There you go. Um, it looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and I hit R, X on my keyboard and then 9, 0 on my numpad. Actually, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to undo that. Hit R, X and then uh, 180 so 180 on my numpad to flip it completely upside down hit left click to confirm that and now you can see it's like a little cone that's upside down now the last thing we have to do is literally hit tab to go into edit mode go up here to face select which is the third button right here to select the entire face instead of just one vertice click the top face and then hit uh, I to inset it you can just move your cursor to how big you want the top piece to be about like that size then hit G Z and move it up and as you can see if you left click you now have a nice little gym and that's literally it you can go ahead and grab the vertice, vertice select tool grab the bottom vertice and hit G Z to kind of move it up a little bit so it's not as long if you don't want it to be that long and that's literally it that's a that's a diamond right there that's a ruby that's an emerald look at that that's insane so super easy it's just crazy you can do this with all different kinds of things as well you can use a uh, you can use a cube the same thing with the cube so hit G X move it over just a little bit we can scale it by hitting S Y to make it a little skinnier like that. Um, hit S Z to scale on the Z axis. Maybe we want to make one of these like I forget what they're called, but like you guys will know what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to face select once again. Select the front and back face like this. Hit I to inset them just about like that. I want to go ahead and also make it the even width width on the top and the side. So hit S X to scale on the X to make it a little bit thinner. There we go. So now both those are still selected. Then we're going to go ahead and hit uh, S and then, no, I'm sorry, J S, Y, and we're going to just puff it out like that. So they're kind of like puffy, you know what I mean? You see that? There you go. You love to see it. Now, these uh, these bottom portions as well, of course, we're going to have uh, to, to bevel these edges here. So go to Edge Select Mode. On the, this, It's the second one right here. Grab all of these edges, so on the, all four corners. Hold down Shift. Select, down, select all of these uh, edges right there. Then hit Control B to bevel, and as you can see, we can make some nice little things. But I want to actually go ahead and grab all of these vertices as well, because if we don't, it might make a couple of weird things. So hold down Shift, select uh, these. Sorry, not vertices, edges. Select those edges. Control B, and now you can see when we uh, bevel this, it looks much better. I'm gonna bevel it about right there, and now you can see that looks just like some kind of rupee from. Legend of Zelda or something. So S Z scale down a little bit, and that is uh, that's how you have it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make some super easy like gems and rubies and emeralds and whatever, what have you, diamonds. Very 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 simple way, especially the first one. Holy! But I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. It's absolutely insane. If you want to make these not as hard edged, go ahead and hit uh, tap to go back into edit mode. Hit A to select everything. And then hit Control B to bevel. And I can see it'll bevel the edges. And then just scroll your mouse wheel up a little bit until you have a couple of vertices in there. Just have a little tiny bit of an edge, like you can see right there. And then left click. Now you can see when I zoom in that they're not super sharp anymore. That has an actual edge to it, which will reflect some light very nicely. Make sure you go up to Object and turn Shade Smooth on, or else it'll be kind of you know weird. But other than that, that is basically it. You do the same thing with this one over here. Select everything. Control B. Add a little bit of vertices, add a little bit of uh, other edges. There you go. And then you have those nice, nice, nice little edges there. Very, very cool. For this one, you might want to go ahead, and before you do that, you might want to go ahead, and with this selected, go to Object, Apply, Scale. So then all of the scales are proper, because we did move this around, so some of them are going to be longer than others. And now if we do it again, you can see Control uh, b and now all of the edges are the same width. As before, we did that, like some of them were longer, some of them were thicker, and some of them were thinner. It was very awkward. So make sure you apply the scale to anything that you scale. You should do this with, to, to this one as well, but we didn't scale this one too much. But yeah, so definitely for this one, Control-B, 
a little bit of edge there and as you can see we now have those nice little rims that are being picked up like i said that's going to be it for today's tutorial hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new super easy way to create some gems and some rupees i don't know what you're making but whatever you're making hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye